Well, hello, Lego YouTubers and Brick fans in general. Mikey J Reviews is back, and here is my first review in quite some time. And uh, it is, well, what does it look like to you? If you say it is the Imperial flagship, you would be correct. You would be wrong if you say it is the Lego Imperial flagship because it is because it is not it is the Lepin Imperial flagship set number 22001 and uh, I can't give you an exact piece count on it and uh, just flip open the instructions to a random page because I know this is something that people you know ask about curious about it's a uh, it's pretty powerful for the course you know compared to Lego instructions I will say this though um, with these Lepin sets you have to be you have to pay special extra special attention to the the colors of the pieces sometimes dark gray looks black in the pictures and uh, light gray can look white and you know so on and so forth so that does add a little bit of an extra challenge when you're dealing with these sets and uh, you'll notice uh, my instruction booklet is, uh, is a little beat up and you might be asking well why is your instruction booklet beat up? And the answer to, uh, that I can give to that is I have no freaking clue. It came this way. <laughs> so who, the seller I bought it from on AliExpress. Yes, folks. I bought this on AliExpress. Not Amazon. Not eBay. Um, but yeah, the, the seller, when they crammed it into the, to the package, to send it to me, you know, clearly the instruction manual got uh, beat up in the process. Which, uh, speaking of that, the, the, these Lepin sets, they come to you, you know, if you are in China and you buy one of these, they come in an actual Lego type box. Well, uh, it costs a lot more money to, to include those boxes and in shipping to the United States or wherever you, you know you might live and you want one of these so they so they take all the contents out of the box and they basically wrap it in bubble wrap and then tape the bejesus out of it and that's how it arrives to your door so you know when I got this I originally wanted to do uh, an unboxing type video just to you know help people understand how these things arrive to your house but after they got here you know I'm looking at it and I'm like so I'm gonna make a video of people watching me you know cut tape and bubble wrap and it sounds like a lot of fun yay so I decided against it but uh but anyways yes I bought this set on AliExpress and it, th this was my first experience buying anything on AliExpress. I was quite hesitant, you know, and I think some, a lot of Westerners, Westerners are when dealing with that website, but I had absolutely zero problem. And uh, I will say this, uh, when I bought this set, you know, it was, it was right before the Chinese National week off that they get a week off first week of October some national holiday over there and uh, so nothing was running no, none of their uh, mail or you know everything was shut down like it would be you know Christmas over here or whatnot and uh, so uh, sorry about that but uh, so there was a week of it just kind of sitting around and so but once once the holiday got over with 
it arrived at my house incredibly fast. Um, a week to 10 days type range, including the weekend. Uh, I, I've, I've purchased other things from China and you know that's lightning speed shipping from China folks that's you know that's that's amazing so you know my first experience buying three Lepin sets on AliExpress has been a positive one just saying uh, before I go further you know getting into this set I, I wanted to you know show you guys a couple of things for one I want to show you guys the base plate now this green one here this is an official Lego base plate you know you, everybody knows these right this is a base plate that came with my uh, Lepin Town Hall and I guess all or most Lepin sets come with these kind of a base plates and hopefully you can see that there it's they're quite a bit thicker so um, when I built my town hall I actually am building it on an official Lego base plate and the reason being that uh, so it can uh, you know hook together with my Lego modulars okay because that the difference in the base plate can throw you off so if you do purchase any modulars that is something to keep in mind and then uh, so far through two and about a quarter sets because I'm not done with the town halls uh, set yet uh, there were a, you know literally two minor pieces missing and by minor uh, uh, things that you, in anybody with any kind of Lego should be able to have at hand and not cause a problem. So, because Lepin is known for missing some pieces here or there. You know, I've heard stories of people uh, getting a, losing a whole bag or, you know, or whatnot, but that was not my problem literally two very very small pieces one on this set and then one on the the haunted house haunted house set that I will be reviewing shortly and then uh, this came in the haunted house set as well and you can see the bottom of this piece is deformed like melted so this piece was no good but luckily they, there was other pieces and it did not cause a problem so and, and this I, I bring this up because this is something that I've heard is that every now and again you will get pieces like that and and that whole haunted house set that was the only one that I encountered with that but it, you know I did get one so you know for whatever that's worth but anyways, on to the Imperial flagship. Um, let me just start by saying I paid $70 for this bad boy. And uh, the original Lego version was $180 new in stores. So, and, uh, and that's $70 shipped to my house, folks. Keep that in mind. And... So, am I happy with it? Yes, very much so. Very, very, very much so. It's, uh, is it perfect compared to the Lego one? No, but um, I usually save my, like my review or uh, my letter grade or you know number rating till the end of the review. But uh, I'm, I'm gonna start with this because Lepin has changed my mind about all knockoff sets in comparison. Um, if the original Lego version of this set here is a 10, and I fully believe it to be a 10, uh, this version is a 8.5. And, and the reason why I can't give it a 9 are uh, 
are the minifigures are not are not terrible not terrible by any stretch of the imagination but they're not as good as Lego minifigures like if a, if a Lego minifigure is a 10 these Lepin ones I would say are seven and a half eight range you know they're they serve their purpose you can play with them some of them are better than others but none of them I would call crap they're not crap and then uh, my next thing that I would you know lower this down is the sales here they're not they're not bad sales they're they're one of the best sales that I've gotten in any of my knockoff ships but they're not as good as uh, official Lego sales as a matter of fact I would say enlightened sales are actually better than these sales too but they're they're, they're actually like cloth where even the Lego ones are they're like they're kind of like a paper cloth mixture I guess almost where these Lepin ones are like literally just cloth which isn't bad it's just different they don't they're a little bit more you know they're softer so but I don't, I don't I don't hate them but they're not my favorite and then uh, the next thing I would lower this d uh, down for is uh, the quality control Lego does a fantastic job with quality control of their of their sets like they throw away or don't use pieces that you know Lepin finds absolutely no problem with like like this piece I showed you here you will never find a, uh, a, a Lego set with a piece like this you just won't and then and there were some few others that had scratches on them almost like they were used I, I know they're not used it just it's it, it was just something that happened in the factory that you will never get with a Lego set so but uh, those are, are really the only things I can knock this down. And, and, and those are what keep me from giving it a 9. Because, I mean, really, you know, like I said, if the, if the Lego version of this ship is a 10, like I almost want to give it a 9, but I, I just can't, so I'm going to go with an 8.5. But now that Lepin is out on the market and they're making such high-quality you know sets if you go back and watch all my other knockoff ship reviews drop them all down a number and they're they're all inferior to Lepin like uh, I, I think my enlightened black seas Barracuda I might have given that set an, an 8 originally well after after seeing this set I would give that set a 7 and this is an eight and a half. And I love that set, but the, the Lepin is a full step ab above them, and they're they're actual they're they're really close to Lego quality, really 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 close. Um, now I, I uh, I'm not going to get into every little detail of this set. Um, you can. There's plenty of YouTube videos on the internet that already exist of the Lego version of this, and it's exactly the same. Um, I'll give you a quick rundown of it, but I I just wanted to show you some of the minifigures real quick. Um, like here's like the the admiral, and and he came with blue hands. Well, I don't necessarily know that he has to have the blue hands. But uh, somebody in this set has to have blue hands. And, and I've looked at a lot of different uh, people that have bought this set already. And everybody is getting somebody with blue hands. And that's that's kind of one of the things I'm talking about, about the quality control with Lepin. Like, uh, in the real Lego version of this, nobody has blue hands. But for whatever reason everybody in this set has blue hands and it seems like every set that they create or, or duplicate I should say 
because that's really what they're doing. There, there's whether it's a hair or a face. There, there's a couple of minifigures that are just not right. And and in this set, it happens to be, you know, the blue hands. And then uh, another thing is, here's the pirate captain. Um, his hat does not have like the skull and crossbones on it. But uh, but yeah. But but other than those two, you know, it comes with, you know, the governor's daughter, you know, and then. Another little, I don't know, cabin boy or pirate boy or something. And then it comes with, you know, all these soldiers. And uh, I'm, I'm very I'm very picky about my minifigures. Like, you know, whether they make it into my in-use collection. Like the set will for sure. You know, you'll see this set. In, uh, in my videos in the future. But the minifigures, I, I tend to toss a lot of the knockoff ones aside. I do have like three, I wanna say, enlightened red coat soldiers that I've mixed in with my Lego. And the reason being is I, I, I just, you can't get enough, you know, soldiers. And they're not bad. And, you know, if you put them into a crowd, you can't really notice that they're not, you know, Lego. So, I, you know, I probably am going to do the same with these guys. Um, and and I, I'm surprised to say that, but they're not bad. Like I said, they're about a 7.5 out of 10 minifigure. They're, they're passable. You know, they're not ugly. You know, they're solid. You know, if you watch my minifigure comparison video... Um, they're they're definitely superior to all you know enlightened kazi all of them like they're 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 decent minifigures um these other ones here i'm probably just gonna toss aside they'll just be the soldiers out of this set that i actually uh hold on to and make part of my collection and then uh i'll give you guys a quick uh run through the ship because I'm sure some of you want to you know get a better look at it I mean and it's you can open cap the captain's quarters there and there's an organ in there and a map and you know it's it's awesome and uh these open I mean this is the best designed uh, Lego pirate ship ever made you no know, even though it's not technically Lego this version it's 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 Lego I'm sorry it's just it's it's a beautiful set I'll show you this pops pops open like that you can take that whole section off right there and then this comes off like that you can look down in here there's like a brig the rat in there and here's the cannon deck and there's a like the cooks area the kitchen where you, where you can make food and it is the only uh, Lego pirate ship that is accessible like that. And that's one of the reasons why I love this set. And, and this set is the reason I, 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 I went with Lepin. See, I can just put it goes back on like that. Kind of hard to grab it. But I mean, yeah, and it's back together, and it's solid. You know, it's not like my Kazi Black Pearl that can fall apart like easily. No, I mean this is. She's a solid ship. Very, very, very nice. And what I was uh, 
saying a minute ago. Um, when I saw that Leppin was creating this ship, th this was the reason why I decided to give Leppin a chance was was for this ship. You know, as as all of you guys know, uh, I'm big into Lego pirates. You know, that's what most of my collection is. You know, and I have a ton of ships, which I will be doing another you know sh pirate ship fleet video here in the near future. Um, but th this was this ship here. This was my uh, holy grail. You know, I if if I could get this one, you know, I, I would feel like my collection would be, you know, maybe not complete is the word, but you know, I, I would be I could be a happy pirates fan. And I tried to figure out ways that I could try to make it happen getting the official one and I, I had actually given up on buying it. I just I thought it was not gonna happen. And then here we are today and it's 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 fabulous it's beautiful and I I highly recommend this ship if you like Lego pirate ships um, and you can't afford the real version of this one I you need to go buy this today it's far and away the best pirate ship on the market it's it's an absolutely fantastic set, and uh, I, I I don't really have you know much more I can say about it. I, I've told you what I don't like, and 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 so I'll, I'll stay, say it again. If the Lego version is a ten, I, I think eight and a half for sure, and again seventy dollars delivered to my door on AliExpress. Um, yeah, you can't. It's it's hard to beat that. And uh, so that is my review of the Lepin Imperial flagship. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and uh, continue to like, comment, and subscribe.